Yeah. There we go. Wow. Holy shit. See, that's what I say. It's just the same. Dude, that's insane. Yeah. Wow. If um, <laughs> you want, I could put the bumper in so you get a, a look at it, but everybody knows what it looks yeah. like with the bumper on. So, yeah. kind of go over and, and explain, like, what was the whole process? Like, what did this car start out as and how did it get to here today? Um, this car started out back in 2005. Mm -hmm. It was originally bought for racing. Mm -hmm. The car rarely was street driven. It, it ran 11s in its beginning. Mm -hmm. It, it ran 10-2 with a stock location uh, red turbo and then from there just kind of like took off and got out of hand. Wow. So from 10-2s on a stock turbo to this. Yeah, it was. That's, uh, that's crazy. Yeah, stock location <laughs> FP red yeah. and then to the point where we are right now, it's just it's like drugs. You get it. You just got out of hand. Yeah, no, I understand completely. That's why the show's, the show's called uh, Boost the Hawks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You never get enough. No. Oh my God, dude. So the reversed manifold here. Can you explain why you went with that? Well, in this car in particular, we did the reverse manifold so the intercooler would um, accommodate the intercooler better. It's, a, it's a, a cleaner, less of a run. Yeah. It's a race car, it doesn't need AC. Yeah. So we could relocate the alternator and not have to sacrifice anything. Oh, nice. And it's a nice straight shot here from the turbo too. Yeah, everything is a uh, V-band with a vibrant. Holy shit, wow. Even the V-band charge bike too, that's crazy. Yeah. So that tells me you're probably running some crazy ass boost in this car. Yes, um, <laughs> higher than what you might expect. Yeah. I I can't say how much and not because they don't let me, it's because I don't know. Yeah. Because there's no boost gauge. There's it's no more than tire pressure, right? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. More than tire pressure. More than most of you guys run on E85. Oh man. That's awesome. So uh, what kind of turbo is this here? Is this a twin scroll? Yes, it's a, it's a twin, twin scroll setup. It's a precision turbo. It's a class turbo because the car runs on two street. So right now it's limited to the size of the turbo. Oh wow. If, if, if we jump to another class or decide, hey, the car's gonna be a race car like many out there, we, mm -hmm. could, we could definitely just by changing the turbo, the car will be running sevens. But mm -hmm. being that we're limited to that and the weight because of the true street class, then we're limited there on what we can do to wow. the car. That's awesome. So. Uh is there anything that's uh, special about you know your fuel system? I notice you've got quite the catch can over here. Uh, what, yeah. What's all on the inside of the motor? Inside of the motor, believe it or not, everything is off the shelf. Just uh, off the shelf uh, pistons, mm -hmm. uh, manly rods, um, just regular. Um, it has cams. It has, I mean, all the supporting mods needed. Mm -hmm. uh, and the fuel system. Well, again, being a race car has a fuel cell. Wow. And then it just has, you know, nothing crazy, just uh, uh, 2,000 cc injectors and yeah. fuel lines and a single fuel pump with a fuel cell in the trunk. And what kind of uh, intake manifold is that? That's an NA intake manifold. Oh, that's awesome. Shaved. Yeah. It's, uh, it was taken care of, you know, they gave it some TLC and painted it black, but it's an NA intake mm -hmm. manifold. Is there a reason you guys went with that over like uh, Cosworth or Magnus, those types of guys? To be honest, if uh, you guys out there do the research, there are flow charts where it shows that this manifold flows better than any other manifold. Mm -hmm. And the price, you can't beat spending a hundred versus a thousand. Yeah. <laughs> and I myself spend a lot of money on manifolds, but um, this one seems to be working for it and that's why it's there. Yeah, that's awesome. That's the same one that we use on my uh, GC and Presidente yes. too for the same exact reasons. Yes. I just wanted to hear it from you guys because racing team, race car. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's recommended. It's a, it does the job. It's, it flows better. It has a better um, plenum. Wow. That's awesome, man. So uh, I just I noticed these are kind of unique. Are these uh, carbon fiber or what's going on? No, there? this is just a cover. If oh, okay. you look underneath, is the actual pipe. This is just a cosmetic cover, making it look nice and pretty. That looks really cool. I like that. Yeah, there's a lot of detail in the car because yeah. um, we like to show it. We're not yeah. afraid of opening the hood and yeah. talking to people about it. Not like uh, really other people get more 
secretive. Mm -hmm. We're like an open book. There's nothing to hide. Yeah, I really like your uh, tire selection here too. What can you tell us about those? Uh, these are the, the Mickey Thompson uh, drag tires. Mm -hmm. The size, like I said, nothing to hide. They're, they're 26 by uh, eight and a half on a 15 inch wheel. These are custom made wheels mm -hmm. with uh, uh, wheel wood uh, brake setup. Mm -hmm. So it'll fit the, the smaller wheel so we could fit the bigger tire. Oh, nice. And again, in the class are limited to uh, tire size being that the car is all wheel drive. Man. They kind of like limit us on what wow. we can do in the car. This is really cool, man. So uh, about how many labor hours would you say you got in here? From what, from like 10 years ago? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got uh, enough hours to fly to another planet and come back. Um, That's awesome. Uh, we put a lot of work into it. Uh, yeah. We don't mess around. We have a great team. Uh, we have uh, three techs, uh, suspension, electrical guy. Yeah. Uh, we have a, a great crew. Um, we'll, we're real connected. Uh, everybody knows what to do and where to do it. Mm. So That's beautiful. Um, I noticed this too. Are you guys running a methanol injection? Yeah. It runs uh, on the BB race fuel and uh, methanol injection too. Oh wow. So you've got race fuel and the methanol injection. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah, that's definitely some serious boost for all that. No going wrong there. <laughs> wow. So can we take a look on the inside and see kind of what went on in here? Oh wow. This is very race car in here. Oh, carbon fiber seats too. Those yeah, are carbon awesome. Carbon fiber seat, custom made uh, door oh, panel. Dude, that's sick. Wow. Certified uh, roll cage. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Man, I noticed there's a parachute back here too. We got to look at that. Yeah, the parachute, it's also um, safety regulated. Mm -hmm. You got to have it if you're going to go over 150 and the car already runs 165, 168. Oh, so. shit. So what's the, the records that this car holds? It, it runs, um, the best time was now in Maryland in November, 846 at 165. <laughs> now it ran last year 848 at 168. Wow. This year it had a better 60 foot, mm -hmm. so it ran a better Oh, dude. A better uh, time, but it lowered the miles per hour, but it's yeah. still 165. The car is a constant eight second car. The car oh. with a misfire still runs eight. Oh my God. So, dude, that is so fast. Yes. Let me get some skin on that one. <laughs> That's fucking awesome, man. Oh my God. I have to say, this is uh, probably the most awesome Subaru I think I've ever seen in my life. This is absolutely incredible. Wow. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Can we get a round of applause, everyone? <laughs> oh, that is awesome, dude. I noticed you turned it off from the... Smell it. Oh, yeah. Ah, that is good, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> That's what boosts will do. That's a good smell right there. It is. Oh, man. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, the car's originally from Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. It's here on vacation. 
It runs on, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody goes to Puerto Rico for vacation. This one came over here. I'm over here for Disney World, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I wanted to take it down to Disney, you know, where it says my, uh, Walt, uh, Walt Disney World. That would be yeah, awesome. Take you take a picture while driving by or go to McDonald's drive through But anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so the car runs uh, OSW in Orlando mm -hmm. in, in October, Maryland, November. And then now December, uh, OSW again. Oh wow! So yeah, so it runs those those every month, yeah. and then goes back home. To, oh, that's awesome! To its mainland, comes yeah. back every year. Hopefully next cool. year you'll see it again. Wow. I gotta say thank you for uh, showing us the car, man. Um, is there any sponsors or anybody you want to give a shout out to? Um, yeah, we have uh, Puma, which is a gas station back home. Very good, ninety-three octane. Um, we have here Twins Landscaping. Those are the owners. Mm -hmm. I'd like to thank uh, uh, FE, which is Freddy Estrada, race engines. He's the one that, that has the magic building the engine. And everybody along the way that has uh, somehow put in their, their good faith in the car, uh, the subways, the Econo, uh, One Stop, Best Golf Cart, uh, Real Street, which everybody knows Real Street is one of our nice sponsors. And Jim Boost Technology, he's the magic behind the keyboard on the tuning. Oh, wow. So he tunes a car, runs on AM standalone. That's awesome. And he's the one with that magic touch. And then Rolly, Rolando Restos, which everybody in the Subaru community knows. Yeah. He's the driver, call him Rolly Matic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that tranny just feels like it's paddle shift. It's just oh, the car awesome. goes straight. Um, so I would like to thank everybody that somehow put their drop of sweat and blood into this.